teeth, all right? So the first thing you need to do is check your mouth, all right? So I had to check my mouth. I Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays, beautiful kings here again. And I hope that everyone is enjoying themselves thus far. I myself have been trying to keep my money in my pocket, y'all. I mean, the stores, the sales, everything is crazy. I have too much that I have to do. I'll be traveling again um, overseas. So I'm trying to save onto every dollar that I have. So with that, I've been looking into a lot of the makeup that I have collected over the past year. So today we're gonna to be doing a Battle of the Reds video. Um, we're gonna use a lower end uh, red lipstick to higher end lipsticks, quote unquote higher end. Um, none of them cost more than like 20 or $25. So um, we're gonna be doing that today and so hopefully you guys enjoy. You'll also learn just how to ap properly apply a red lipstick and then how to take it off because red can stain depending on what color red you're using can be a little bit annoying to take off. So we'll talk about that very quickly as well. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks to all of those who have been uh, watching the videos. I hope that you guys are enjoying through this holiday season. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, everybody knows that when you wear red lipstick, it amplifies what's going on with your teeth, all right? So the first thing you need to do is check your mouth, all right? <laughs> so I had to check my mouth. I have been wearing red um, pretty frequently, and what I realized is my teeth needed to be whitened. Um, I do not get professional whitening done to my teeth because I don't feel it to be necessary. I use the Colgate um, toothpaste and it is the red one. So I'm gonna put it right there for you guys to see. And I pretty much use that and it keeps your teeth white. Um, I'm very careful to use it though, like teeth whiteners because they can strip the enamel on your teeth. And I need my teeth. I'm already missing like a tooth in the back and yeah, so. All right. So what happens normally is when you put on a red lipstick, it just amplifies what's happening with your teeth, okay? And so if your teeth are yellow um, or yellowish tone, it's just gonna make it look more yellow because it's so bright. So it's like you're gonna see a, a starking contrast, right? You can try the Colgate toothpaste that I use which I absolutely love, and you guys can see it there. The other thing that I use is I buy this from Target, and this is the Splendid White um, Whitening Wraps. So this is the Splendid Whitening Wraps. It comes with 14 wraps, seven treatments, so you do it over the course of seven days. And it has trays for your top and for your bottom. You leave it on for about 13, for about 30 minutes, I'm sorry, and then you just rinse your mouth out with water. So I feel like with using this and also with using my toothpaste, I should be fine. So the first lipstick that we're going to start out with today is a drugstore lipstick that you can pick up. You're not gonna pay more than $5 for this thing, so if you're in the market for a red for the holiday, you can try out the Wet n Wild Lip Color in Missy and Fierce. So this is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and apply it. So trying on Missy and Fierce, it goes on pretty smooth. The color payoff is there, very vibrant. Um, it does not stay on long just from having previous knowledge of wearing this. So you will need to reapply this probably quite a few times while you're wearing it. But it does look pretty for $4.99. You cannot beat it. Use a red liner to kick it up a notch. And it is moisturizing on the lips even though it is a matte lipstick. To take this lipstick off, I'm going to be using the green tea wipes from Sephora, which I absolutely love because on the other side of the wipes, they're two-sided and on one side it has an exfoliator. So try them out. Okay, so we've taken off our first red lipstick. Now we're going to use a little bit of blotting powder. And I use the wipe to take it off as you can see. What I would suggest is you carry a powder with you when you're gonna reapply your lipstick or if you're just trying on different shades. Um, the wipes work really, really well to take off your lipstick. And you see what's happening here, like when I took off the lipstick, some of my foundation came off. And so you just wanna blend that out with a little powder. I'm just using a blotting powder because that's what I have. And I'm also just gonna blur out any color that's on my lips that's left. This is also really good for people who have discoloration in their lips. 
um, you can use like a powder that's your shade or your skin tone and it'll mute out the actual color of your own lips so you get to see the true color of the lipstick. All right, so the next color that we're going to try is the infamous Riri Woo. This is about two or three years old, I think. Um, this is very similar to Ruby Woo from MAC. Most people are familiar with Ruby Woo. You can pick this up at MAC. Um, not Ruby Woo, I'm sorry. Riri Woo is gone, all right? But you can pick up Ruby Woo from MAC, which honestly, I found Riri Woo and Ruby Woo to look the same. I don't know where my Ruby Woo is. I can't even remember the last time I used Ruby Woo. Um, but Riri Woo is very similar, so we're gonna try this one on. So now we're trying Riri Woo slash Ruby Woo. It does go on, but the lipstick is very dry. It's dry, y'all when you put it on your mouth, um, and it does need a little bit of extra work. Um, the color is beautiful though, but I had to put on my cherry lip liner to just kind of fill in the gaps. Um, I like liquid liners because they're easy to line your lips with, so that's one downside of this, but it is pretty. Um, it does stay, but not long, so you do have to reapply this as well as you go throughout the day. For $17, you can try out Ruby Woo from MAC. Next up, we're going to try the NARS Red. And I actually got this um, in a sample from Sephora. And I believe the NARS, the full size lip color to this costs $24.50. I'll post the accurate price for you guys. This one is called Star Woman and it is a power matte lip pigment. So we're gonna try this out. If you have any Beauty Insider points at Sephora, you can check to see if they have this at the cash wrap and you can literally get it for free when you purchase something. So this was 100 points and this is what it looks like. And we're gonna try this one out. So trying out Star Woman, as you can see, it goes on very, very smooth, easy. It feels so good on the lips. It reminds me so much of Fenty Beauty's Stunna Lip Paint. The color is not that different. I would say Fenty Beauty is a little brighter, but it goes on smooth for $26. It is nice. I don't know if I would pay $26 for this, but it is nice. It's very pretty. You can try it from NARS. Now we're trying Drop Dead Red by Melted Cosmetics. Beautiful, it's like a blood red. These are my favorite reds in the winter. It does go on smooth. I do find this lipstick, however, to be a little bit more high maintenance. When it goes on, it looks absolutely beautiful and it does stay. Um, I have to, had to touch this up, but not too much. And the color payoff is pretty good as you can see on my finger. Now I used my wipes to take this off and it made an absolute mess. The pigment in this color is like really strong. So look at it just smeared literally all over my face. So because of that, I ended up having to replace some foundation around my mouth. The powder just didn't do it. So be mindful of that when you try this lipstick out. Last but not least, we have the number one Stunna Fenty Beauty Uncensored Lipstick. Beautiful payoff. This one has more of like an orange in it as its base. You can tell just by looking at it. It's beautiful. It goes on smooth. The wand is easy to use. Oh my goodness. I love it. Definitely a true, true red. I think it's worth the $24.50 for sure. Um, you know, and... It doesn't look that much different from the Star Woman by NARS, to be honest. Now that it's settling in, it doesn't look that different. I'm going to also just try it on with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Clear Glip Gloss. You can always put a clear on a red just to pump it up. Okay, guys, we're all done. We tested out all five. So you got to comment down below and let me know which is your favorite one. Honestly, if you want to go for a cheaper lip color and still rock a red in the season, You'll be just fine with this wet and wild cat suit, Missy and Fierce. This did it good. You can always pop a lip liner with it just to give it a little bit more kick. Use a very red lip liner if you wanna pump it up a notch. You can fill in your whole lip in red and then put the lip color on top and I think you'd be a-okay. Also, if you're having a hard time taking the red off in general, if you found that it's stained, you can always use the Pond's 
makeup remover. This is a cold cream cleanser. It's a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. So I am gonna be picking another winner for the holiday as well. And I'm going to be giving away the Stockholm NYX um, lip eye face collection. And it comes with a matte lip color. It comes with the bronzer, highlighter, and four shadows. So I will be giving this away. This again is for my faithful few, my subscribers that have been following me since I started the channel back in January 2017. So all you have to do to win is just comment down below. Shout out to um, D-Bell's Tapestry who won the 9A Morph palette. So thanks again guys, thanks for all your support. Of course, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you right back here on the channel and I will talk to you guys soon. Jingle bells, happy holiday. Peace.